Okay, so how do we get from here to here? Well, we keep building these hands, uh, or these finger holes, as we need to. And uh, you might have to do some tweaking of edges. I had to, you know, at times I had to tighten up edges to get these nice perpendicular shapes. Um, I wanted them to be relatively equal in size and uh, distance and all that stuff. Um, cutting in edge loops. Keep those hard edges. I don't think I had to use any more weight maps on this. Uh, any edge weighting. The, uh, this is the only piece that needed the edge weighting that I had that I found. Um, these are all I was able to cut those in with geometry. Uh, this piece uh, we talked a little bit about that. I just cut a hole, did a couple bevels down. That's all that is. That's your thumb hole. Um, there's really nothing to this. It looks complicated. It was a weird shape, um, but it was uh, all in all fairly simple to throw together in the end. Um, Last thing I had to do here is this little emblem, uh, or a little little medallion, I guess you'd call it. Uh, it's just a disc, subdivided, subpatched, and then pushed it down uh, against the hand using another background constraint. It, uh, it's just sitting right on top. I didn't see any need to try to make that, you know, be a part of the main hand. But, uh, just you got to pick your battles with things like this and uh, that just seemed like more work than was necessary this is clearly a separate piece uh, as far as I can see in the in my reference images uh, looks good to me as it is so I just uh, took the easy route on that guy and just pushed it down as a separate mesh um, what else uh, from there I'd say you're ready for fingers the fingers were really simple compared to the hand um, don't know what the heck that is, uh, but essentially that's where you are. Um, you'll notice my ball joints on my fingers do have collisions into the hand. I don't care. Uh, I'm never going to see it. There's a level of scrutiny here that's never going to be reached. Um, you know, I I built this guy. There's no internal ball socket or anything to hold these things, but it you know it's just enough to give the appearance of that being a ball socket same thing with these is it these are so hidden by corrosion in my final renders that uh, I didn't see any need to try to make these accurately hold these uh, these ball joints I mean uh, you gotta gotta think about what your final image is going to be and I knew I was never going to be close enough to scrutinize the insides of these hands uh, so that's where we are um, I think it's pretty clear. I hope that helps you guys. Um, if you've got any questions, uh, hit me up in the forums. I definitely suggest checking out Andy Brown's tutorial on the C9 if you want to dig a little deeper into uh, the uh, the whole uh, theology behind uh, spline modeling. He can probably better explain why you're doing what you're doing, but uh, I would say just jump in. It's pretty simple stuff. It's just a matter of creating a cage. Uh, visualizing what you want, creating that cage, patching the cage, and sub-patching it, starting to cut in your detail to make your hard edges, and then adding detail as you need it uh, in things like finger holes, holes for wrists and sockets and all that stuff. It's all, uh, it's all doable. Just got to jump in and try it out. If you got any questions, uh, try me on the forums.